Of course you blew some trading accounts. Tell us in the comments box below the biggest forex account that you're ever blown. It is true, no trader wants to lose or wants to hear about losing. But the reality of the forex markets, the stock markets or any market for that matter, is that there is always the risk of losing. Forget about traders or gurus, who claim to have magic systems or forex robots that never lose a trade. It's just marketing. Even institutional traders, who trade millions every day, lose to each other because forex is a zero-sum game. For someone to make money, someone somewhere must lose. So who are you with your $1,000 account? However, there are ways for you to lose some trades, but not blow your account. Every trader loses trades here and there, what's important is that you at least do not lose your whole trading account. That is the point of this 3-strike rule strategy. Hi, welcome to the channel. If you are new, please consider subscribing, so that you don't miss future videos. Remember to hit the like button just to motivate us to continue making these videos. By the way, if you are interested in making money online via trading etc., visit the links in the description box below. Let's get into today's video. Let's face it the markets can be chaotic. Market makers don't always agree where price will go next which means price can whipsaw as it consolidates before a big move. That is why stop losses are important. But sometimes it is not enough, and you can get the stop losses hit one after the other, and if you don't have a check on yourself you end up losing your account. If you notice you just can't seem to get it right one day, and feel like you're out of sync with your trades, take that day to clear your mind. Spend the rest of the day focusing on all the things you intend to do right the next day. That is the basis of the three strike rule if you take three consecutive losses, take a break otherwise you will mess up your trading account. What it means is that if I am trading on a typical and I lose a trade, then I enter the market again and lose that trade, then enter a third trade and lose that trade again. I stop trading and go find something else to do to clear my mind because obviously my mind is not in sync with the market that day. That is how you stop yourself from overtrading and from trying to revenge the market, which I have seen most of the time is the end of many trading accounts. The three strike rule does not just work on the day, but can also be applied to your trading week. For example, if you place a trade or trades on Monday and you lose, then come in again on Tuesday and lose, then same thing on Wednesday three consecutive days of losses, it means take a break for the week and go and clear your mind. This rule trust me will stop you from blowing your trading account. After losing a trading day or trading week, it is important that you spend some time focusing on all those things that probably made you lose and what you are going to do right and when you enter the markets again. Healthy trading behaviors are key to your success. So consider a three-strike rule as a self-stop loss to keep yourself from making unnecessary mistakes on those days you just can't seem to get it right. The three-strike rule doesn't just apply to yourself but setups that just don't seem to be working. If you've stopped out of the same trade 3x already maybe it's time to move your attention onto something that isn't so choppy. The goal isn't to trade everything you see or to always be in the markets. The goal is to trade the setups that are the most obvious and that have the greatest probability of making you money. It's your job as a trader to manage your risk. This means before every trade you need to ask yourself, is the juice worth the squeeze? Will my return on this investment outweigh the possible downside risk? Is there anything I need to be aware of before making this investment? Successful traders cultivate successful habits. In trading this means only entering when your potential reward outweighs possible downside risk, in my trading by at least 5 colon 1, and the odds are on your side, entering at strong support or resistance and purchasing only pairs that put the odds on our side. If on any given day you can't seem to get in the flow, try adhering to the three strike rule to get yourself out of a bad mindset so you can come back fresh and kick the markets the next time. If you learned something new in today's video, please remember to click the like button. Leave a comment with your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss future videos. We will see you in the next video.